I'm here today harvesting mugwort. You can tell by the silvery under leaves. And there's a purple stem. And I'm harvesting just before these little flower buds open. And she's connected with the goddess Artemis, hence her Latin name Artemisia vulgaris. And vulgaris is of the people because she's such a useful herb, known as a woman's herb. Useful for all things related with periods, balancing, she clears the channels and opens things, allowing things to flow freely. So it's a great herb for taking to stimulate dreaming. Uh, you can make it into a mugwort pillow to have vivid lucid dreams. Uh, she's a great herb to smoke in a sacred way, making smudge sticks to clear energy, protecting and purifying. Um, also an oil for aches and pains, for rubbing into the belly. So today I'm gonna harvest some from here and I also grow some in my garden and with mugwort I'm going to dry it uh, to use in tea through the winter I'm going to make some tincture some infused oil smudge sticks and a herbal vinegar because she's really good for the digestion and you can see mugwort's actually growing alongside burdock so I've had to come kind of closer to them the road I like but it's far enough away that pollution shouldn't have affected it but the place I usually go to harvest the mugwort deep in the wood somebody's already been and taken all of it right down to ground level which is really not the way you harvest my forage is my basket. I'll maybe take just a few more stems. And when you're harvesting my wort, you tend to just cut, I'll take my secateurs and cut maybe a third of the plant height, but leaving plenty of flowers, obviously for nature and for pollination. And yeah, here is burdock. So in the autumn, I'll be able to come here and dig some roots. I'm next to this beautiful cornfield and I'm just gonna harvest a few stalks to put on my Lammas altar. So I'm back with my mugwort I collected this morning and um, see this is what I've got you might have been able to tell by my video as I said this morning the place that I normally forage from it had all been completely stripped bare so I was kind of fairly shocked um, I do have some in my garden but it is nice to forage a little bit as well so here is the small bundle I've got rather than stripping a place bare and I've also picked some other herbs from my garden because today I'm going to make smudge sticks uh, what I did with some of this already is, here is some oil. This is mugwort infused oil. So this will sit for four weeks. It's in a grapeseed oil. Really good for aches and pains. Um, here is the vodka. So I'll be mugwort tincture in here, six weeks, and then we'll strain it. And then here is some mugwort vinegar. And this is fresh mugwort in apple cider vinegar. And you would use this before... Um, dinner you can put it as a salad dressing it's really good for digestion so I've not made this before hence the smaller bottle um, I'll probably leave this about four weeks before straining and then also I'll be drying it this is my pot from last year it makes a great incense base that's why we're using it as smudge sticks because it really holds the burn well and I've got some going in the pot behind me and mugwort is very relaxing it's a lunar herb it's associated with um, women with the goddess Artemis 
and it's useful for divination. It's alleged to have psychoactive properties, but they're not really trippy, but it will just induce calm. It really aids lucid dreaming. Um, and so, yeah, this is why it's known as a witch's herb and we use it as the base for our smudge sticks. So here are two that I've just made and you can see they differ in size every time. A smudge stick is going to be as different as you are. You can make them as pretty as you want. There's loads of um, Pinterest and Google images and uh, articles on how to make them all lovely. I tend to just, just make them, I use what I've got and they come out how they come out. Um, I might tidy this one up a little bit and just wrap the embroidery thread round. You can use string or you can use, I've got some nice coloured embroidery thread. You can make it as magical as you wish. You can research all the different properties of the plants. You can do it on a moon phase, like today is the new moon in Cancer. So I'm imbuing those properties of the moon with what I'm making. You can send healing and Reiki to it. You can chant over it. You can inscribe runes. You can lay it on runes. You can use essential oils if you wish. One of the things I'm using is rosemary because it has a lot of volatile oils in it. So here we've got our mugwort, I've got lavender, um, I've got lemon balm, I've got rosemary and I've got some sage. And you can use one or all of them in with your mugwort base. And they all bring slightly different properties, they have slightly different energies. Um, the, the lavender is very calming and soothing and smells nice, as they all do. The lemon balm is very antiviral and also, again, another calming, relaxing herb. Great for cleansing spaces. The rosemary, very purifying. And the sage, as we all know, sage is used for cleansing space. It is purifying, it's antiviral, antifungal. It will cleanse negative energies out. So I think, for me, they all in all together, they make a, a great stick. So we take our mugwort, stick and you're kind of aiming for something that's the the thickness of a couple of fingers when you're finished <laughs> the tiger's going to be helping he does like a bit of mugwort so i've got my mugwort base put my bit of sage on it that's quite a big chunk of lemon balm pop that lemon balm in there stalks of lavender a little bit of rosemary okay so we've got all the stalks level and we're just gonna take the bundle twist and bend in half and then we're going to take our thread I'm just going to wrap it around the end and the trick with these is you're wrapping them fairly tight but you don't want to make it too tight because they do need to dry out and the air needs to escape so we just tie a little knot there and then just going to make sure we leave that piece of string there and we work up the bundle and you can make this as much of a ritual as you want. Tiger's now sitting here eating the lemon balm. Bend that over the top. This one's come out quite pretty because you can see the lavender flowers and the lemon balm. And then we'll work back down. And then you'll tie off. And there we go. And that one's quite, quite a pretty one. 
and so that's how we make a smudge stick. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I will see you next time. Take care.